what this is about when you have the name George DeMint to your, to your show, which is my grandfather. It was about opening doors for people. It was about providing opportunities and giving someone a, a, you know, a chance to, to pull themselves up. Mind's right, training right, you know, I'm ready for it. A lot of amateur fights, the kids, uh, some adults, local teams. Uh, we had a lot of entries, about 20 teams entered. We had over 220 kids enter and uh, we're gonna put together 25 fights, some of the best fighters from the, you know, the Arquitex and surrounding areas. Austin Page, uh, February 23rd, come out and show love to uh, Wyndham Garden Hotel. Um, leaving it out for the judges. Uh, we're killers in the ring, but gentlemen outside of it, just come out and show love. Back in September, uh, Austin Page, Paxton Giddens, it was kind of in between, you know, a lot of people thought I lost, a lot of people thought he lost. Just uh, ready to get at it again and show who's really better. Super close fight, could have gone either way. I thought we had it, they thought they had it, you know, and uh, we're going to run it back. First bell's at 2 o'clock, come out, grab a seat get some snacks, sit down, and, uh, and watch these guys throw down. I started boxing about a year ago, and uh, first fight was September 29th of uh, 2018, so. You have a wrestling background? Yes, I used to wrestle for Halton and Doyleen High School. You know, something that I loved, and then when wrestling ended for me, I, I wanted to find something else, you know. Did you find it? Oh, I found it. <laughs> for sure, man, I love this. It's really exciting. It's what it's all about. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like amateur football. I always say you get the best of it. You get the best games. You get the best fights on amateur level. These guys are hungry. You know, um, and 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 Paxton felt like he won. He's got something to prove. And and Austin's been in the gym training hard. And uh, both guys are uh, they're gonna they're headed for a collision for sure. This is kind of a grassroots thing. Uh, you're going to get to see some of the, the big up-and-coming talent. This is a hot spot for talent. Uh, you know, Northwest Louisiana has has always had it here, but I'm happy to to say that I feel like the coaches and the teams are working together more now than they have in the last 10 years. Uh, myself and the other coaches, we, we all get along. We cross train, and um, it's 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 us versus everyone else. That's the way we look at it. My, my favorite thing to do is watch the Pee Wee fights, uh, little 50-pounder, uh, eight-year-olds. It's, uh, it's amazing. Those guys throw like 200 punches around. They go hard. It's, uh, it's a whole subculture with, with Pee Wee boxing. You know, February kind of kicks off boxing season, and what that means is all the major tournaments are between now and summer, and then the summer there's, there's big shows all across the state. So this is actually the first show of the season before the Golden Gloves, before the Junior Olympics, and everyone's trying to get in quick and get a tune-up fight, and a lot of kids with no fights are trying to get on, and, and you know, that's what we're, we're providing a platform for them, and, and hopefully next year I'll make this a two-day show, and I'll let everyone get to fight. The George DeMint Classic is coming up soon, so if you have nothing to do, or you want some exciting, uh, you want to watch some exciting fights, great boxing matches, um, Dement Old School Boxing is putting on an event February 23rd at the Wyndham Garden Hotel. So please show up and show your support.